Oh man, hush puppies? Hey, what's good, Schmack Pack? We are back at the house of the meats. Arby's because they got a different type of meat because it's, I guess, the seafood season. I don't know, but all I know is that I saw hush puppy breaded fish strips. I keep wanting to say fish sticks. Like when I ordered it, I was like, the fish, st it's not sticks, it's strips. But I got that right here in the bag, and you know, three pieces runs $5.19. I don't know about that. It sounds kind of pricey. That's without fries or a drink or anything. If you want to get the combo, because it's like $9 for three pieces. Mm. But what I can tell you is instantly when she handed me this bag, my car started filling up with the aroma of fish. So it does say that these are breaded Pollock. It doesn't say Alaska, so I'm not sure where they're from. Maybe they're lab grown. Who knows? But hush puppy breaded is what matters because I love myself some hush puppies. I wish they actually had hush puppies too. I don't know why they didn't, but you can get this in a wrap. What's a wrap? I want hush puppies on the side. Let's see what we got inside the bag. Oh, dang. We got the bag stapled and shut and everything. So we got. No napkins. Okay, I think this happened last time I was at Arby's too. Maybe you have to ask for napkins here. I don't, I don't know. But we do have some Arby sauce. All right, always a hit. We got, ooh, big boy. We got the big boy tata sauce. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm, smells tartary. Oh, yeah. You can't have fish without tartar sauce. I used to not like tartar sauce. No, I don't like it. Weird. And then we got. really fishy but we've got the hush puppy breaded fish strips yeah looking good nice and golden brown have some weight to them smelling fishy of course Whew, that's you know what up close it actually kind of reminds me of long john silver so i guess that's a good thing fish and fish although i heard the furthest thing that you can get from long john silvers is fish so that's what it, what it is what it is. Haven't had them in a while because they went out of business. Oh, man, let's see. Honestly, these could be a lot. Okay, I don't. I was gonna say it could be a lot crispier because it feels a little on the soft side. They could have fried these a bit longer. Although also in the middle right here, with this flex. Oh, it's breaking in half. I'm gonna drop. This is expensive. This is at like a dollar fifty for one piece. Wait, no, it's more than a dollar fifty for one piece. Hold on, it's like a dollar seventy or something. Anyways. It feels like a chicken nugget from a frozen TV dinner, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't taste like that. The three pieces and the breading and, I mean, the, ooh, I think that's why it smells like Long John Silver, so I'm smelling that hush puppy action. It just completely crossed my mind. Well, it's kind of a mix. I smell the hush puppies and the fish, and the fish smells like Long John Silver, so it might be good because I like Long John Silver. So let's, let's actually pop this open since it's already broken in half. See what we got. Okay, it's nice and hot. And we got the nice fish inside. You can see the fibers, right? Yeah, it's some legit fish. Hmm. So without further ado, let's see what it do. Hmm. The fish tasting good. The fish tasting good. The fish tasting good. The fish tasting good. The fish is tasting good, guys. The fish is tasting good. But the problem is the hush puppies don't taste hush puppy. They're not, they're not doing it. The fish is tasting good. Let me try the hush puppy by itself. I'm just not seeing it. it doesn't taste anything like a hush puppy. 
That's why they needed to have hush puppies on the side, because this is not a hush puppy. So with the tartar sauce. Mmm, mmm. The fish tasting good. <laughs> but the hush puppies, man, like that's like the main thing here, I think. Doesn't even slightly resemble as if you gave me this. Or just told me it was fish. I wouldn't even consider it being hush puppy breaded. Now don't get me wrong, it tastes good, like I was saying. The fish tasting good. But well, I was expecting some hush puppy flavors here. It's just some breaded fried fish with a crust. The crust isn't considered a crust with the breading that just keeps flaking off. I think I did this, but it reminds me of Long John Silver's where you have those little crispy things on the bottom. Let's see if this tastes like a hush puppy. Eh. Hey, when you have just a bunch of the breading by itself, it, if I try hard enough, I can see the influence of a hush puppy but it's like just the outer edge of the hush puppy and that's not the hush puppy e part that has all the flavor so i don't know y'all it, it ain't working it ain't working i don't know i'm not sure if it's so expensive because it's hush puppy breaded or just because it's the pollock or you know we all know why everything's expensive anyway so that's probably it but on a scale of one to ten arby's all new hush puppy breaded fish strips i gotta say I gotta say they diddly slap. The fish tasting good. Tartar sauce tasting good. But the hush puppy part, which... Yeah, hush puppy bread, it is a longer phrase than fish strips. And the hush puppies are just completely missing. It is what it is. It's just, it's good fish. It's fried. It could be crispier. But it doesn't taste like hush puppies, which is a shame because that's the only reason I wanted it. Hmm. All right, we just get some hush puppies to put on the side of some regular fish, and I'll be happy. Thumbs up, or subscribe button, get that merch. Social media, I'll see y'all in the next one.